it's 1935 and you have all the money in the world and want to build the world's fastest land plane, what would it look like? It would look like this. Howard Hughes, the famous film producer and entrepreneur, was very much involved in aviation as well. And he decided he wanted to set the absolute record for a land-based aircraft. With his money, he went about and did it. The Hughes Racer is a very sleek airplane, despite the fact that it has an air-cooled engine, which produces a lot of drag. Howard Hughes was absolutely obsessed with low drag. It has a beautiful bell-shaped cowling around it that streamlined the airflow, cooled the engines, and just greatly reduced the drag of the airplane. The fuselage is made out of duralumin, which is aluminum alloy. It is beautifully put together. The wings, interestingly, are not made out of metal. They're made out of wood because the designers at that time felt that they could get a more accurate airfoil shape by using wood and carefully sanding it and resanding it and varnishing it. The racer does feature retractable landing gear. It didn't pioneer that style, but it was certainly one of the first aircraft to incorporate it. The workmanship on this aircraft is so good that when the landing gear is retracted, you cannot see the seam lines between the gear and the wing. Much like most of Howard Hughes' career, about everything he touched worked extremely well, and this is a perfect example of that.